Right. So uh, we request everybody to stay on for the next uh, speaker. Uh, this is going to be uh, Sri uh, Swami uh, Ramakrishna Nandaji. So I will just read out his uh, bio. Uh, Swami uh, Ramakrishna Nandaji is a resident acharya at Chinmay Mission. Uh, he is an excellent orator and a teacher of Sanskrit, uh, with a very unique and jovial way of teaching. He hails from Chennai and holds a diploma in uh, mechanical engineering. He was inspired by Pujya Gurudev Swami Chinmayanda Ji's ideals and talks and joined the Tamil Vedanta course uh, near Chennai under the guidance of Swami Sri Ji in 1993. He was given Brahmachari uh, Diksha and Sanyasa Diksha in 95 and 2010 respectively by Swami Tejamayanda Ji. He was first posted in Chinmay Mission as a residential acharya. His further successive posting locations are in Sri Lanka, Coimbatore, Reunion Island, and uh, he is visiting frequently to the United States uh, to teach Sanskrit and Vedanta. His masterpiece is the Easy Sanskrit course, Level 1 and Level 2, which has come as an aid for the bloomers in learning Sanskrit. He conducts public yajnas uh, on Bhagavad Gita, Upanishads, Ramayana, Srimad uh, Bhagavata, and uh, Mahabharata. He conducts spiritual classes for teachers and value education uh, classes for students uh, at Chinmay Mission. He has coordinated the Color uh, Waste Mosaic Guinness World Record Program to commemorate the centenary celebration of Pujya. Now, so last thing we should not tell, otherwise the problem will be there. So I'm not telling Swapake. Swapake, just I tell you in Sanskrit, Swapake. I'm not translating it. Okay. Now, keeping this uh, sloka. So we are seeing elephant or Vidya Vinaya Sampana Brahmana or a dog or cow. So how we have to bring the equanimity in, in our life? So Krishna brings this what the advising point in Bhagavad Gita. This is point number one. Just to keep this in your mind, then we will discuss. And one more sloka from Bhagavad Gita. Jnana Vijnana Tritatma Kotasto Vijitetriyaha Yukta Yukvichate Yogi Samaloshta Ashtma Kanchana So Bhagavad Gita as, as to Keep this equanimity. Loshta, Ashma, and Kanchana. You have to see what that the sand, the, uh, what do you call the stone and the gold, all are equal. So, how this is possible in our day to day life? We cannot make ornament from the stone and wear this ornament. You cannot take this for that gold and keep this gold as so with the table weight. So, what is the intention behind this kind of statement? You see so many statements you can find in our scriptures. And one more statement from Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter. Sukhran Nitra Vidasina Madhyasna Dveshya Bandhushu Sadhu Shopicha Papeshu Samabuddhira Vishishya De. So, you have to bring this kind of Samabuddhi with this Sukhrita Vitra Ari Udasi Madhyasna Dveshya Bandhu Papi. No, this, all these people you have to bring the Samabuddhi. So one kind of Samabuddhi, our scriptures are Advaita as, as to practice in the society or day-to-day -day life. This is our, uh, what is that, the critical question. When we ask this critical question, when we reflect upon this, so we will derive a very nice point how to apply this Advaitic idea in our day-to-day -day life. This is the idea from Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya also commented on these slokas. Now see. So all our great Acharyas, they asked us or they gave us the very powerful, uh, what do you call, the uh, message, Bhava Advaitam Sada Puriyati Kriya Advaitam Na Karihi Chite. We have to bring this or always cultivate Advaita in your heart but never in your day-to-day -day activities. Advaita in day-to-day -day activities that is not possible. I mean, try to bring this Advaita in day to day for that uh, life. It doesn't mean that you have to consider this uh, what that gold as uh, mud, uh, mud or sand, the sand as stone. No. The differences will be there. The names and forms will be there. Then how to bring this Advaiti, highest Advaitic ideas into our day to day life? The very practical the capsule our ancestors, the great Acharyas, they have given us. Bhava Advaitam Sada Kuriya. We have to bring this Advaita Bhava in our heart. And keeping this Advaita Bhava in our heart, we have to uh, live our day to day, our transactional life. This is a very powerful idea, powerful thought and capsule for every Advaitin how to practice the concept of Advaita in day to day life. We can keep this as mantra. 
भाव अद्वैत सदा कुरिया न क्रिया अद्वैत न करहि चित वी शुड नेवर रोड दैट ब्रिंग दिस क्रिया अद्वैत नाउ सो भाव एंड क्रिया सो भाव मींस फॉर दैट आर द इंटेलेक्चुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग भाव क्रिया मींस द एक्टिविटी नाउ when you bring this bhava the bhava should be there inside kriya should be there outside kriya is outside bhava should have should be inside or no more the inside the, in the bhava means inside the heart we have to keep advaita outside we have to deal with dvaita all things and beings all differences will be there sutre manigana ive so this ka example also you can bring from bhagavad gita like thread we have to keep this advaita inside like what that pearls we have to deal with dvaita loga outside and see this we we have to keep this brahman inside and we have to deal uh, what the dharma outside this is how we have to understand and one more thing so we have to keep this paramarthika satya inside the advaita and we have to deal with what the vyavahariha satya so it's very very interesting very nicely they brought this idea for our day to day life i think when we understand this how to keep advaita inside how to deal the dvaita in the spirit of advaita it's very very clear when we understand this what the uh, core point of this sutra then we are we don't have any confusion how to practice or how to bring advaitika idea into our day to day life i think you understood now all the social re- <laughs> reformers attitude whoever works in the what that the social level their attitude they try to bring this equality 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 i call this as advaita advaita the concept of try to bring all the equality outside which is impossible and even they they bring they try to bring the advaita or equality outside inside always they used to have dvesha or what that biased kind of attitude inside almost almost all the so- social workers when you see they have inside all this kind of dvaita or the division or the dvesha inside and they try to bring advaita outside which is impossible that's why the social reformer himself will become the problem and when they try to solve one problem outside and that uh, the solution will be will create one more problem outside why this is their attitude try to bring equality outside which is impossible they didn't understand the concept of advaita i think they never went through this kind of the scriptures how we have to bring this advaita concept in our day to day life this is the problem of for the social reformers or the attitude of social reformers now you cannot what that uh, give this suppose you have cold water highly or that uh, very cold water so a man is getting ulcer <laughs> you, you just give this for the cold water this ulcer person same cold water you just man with a fever just if they give the cold water he will die in few minutes he will die you cannot give this cold water the fever the person only has got the fever but the ulcer person can manage the same cold water just you for puja we do not know whether the water is pure or not just for puja the same water very high what the cold water you just take for what the bath the same cold water to wash cloth the thing is one water cannot be used for all this purpose so for puja you need to have holy water very pure water and what refined water for bath okay for that something some very ordinary water you can take for wash the cloth you can take for the person with the fever you cannot water give the cold water he will die this person can take this kind of not high cold water so you have to reduce this for that uh, the coldness what the coolness of this water and you can give this person so now the problem with the reformers the social reformers they they what they do, you you treat everyone very equally you give a job equally you give place equally the, the, the thought of communism you give equally if you treat outside so much of chaos will come we cannot ask a security person who is standing at the gate you cannot ask this person to go and sit in the uh, seat of ceo and take some decision which is not possible we cannot ask the ceo to go to get get and or that take care of the security job it's no, impossible the intellectual capacities are different the abilities are different uh, there what that their uh, skills are different so in the, in the dvaitic world you have to what to go with the dharma of dvaita 
and dharma or that vyavaharika so dealing with the vyavaharika dharma then we have to keep advaita inside so with this understanding we bring this advaita we will what that we will improve inside we will grow inside we will evolve inside at the same time we will bring prosperity outside this is the uh, what will message of powerful advaita bhagavan adi shankaracharya's teaching or advaita teachers teaching is inside you keep the advaita outside you deal with advaita that means bhava bhava advaitam advaita bhava advaita should be in the bhava and all the activities should be in outside so with this understanding we have to bring this thought and one more thing as the the life that advaitins exhibits if you are advaitic person then you are the devotee of bhagavan adi shankaracharya a devotee of lord krishna if you try to bring this what the advaitic thought in day to day life advaita vidhi within advaita how i should bring practically at intellectual level we have to recognize the lord in all when you use the intellect we have to recognize the presence of lord everywhere isha vasyam idakum sarvam so you have to recognize the lord vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavi hastini so what we are saying we are trying to see this the presence of lord all for the lord everywhere intellectual level we have to keep this kind of point at emotional level we have to bring love everywhere equal now. so love should be very equal to everyone and the intellectual understanding of this presence of the lord in each and every being should be but that should be there so that intellectual level seeing the lord's presence at a heart level but showing the love this is the advaita bhava we have to keep inside so keeping this kind of bhava inside outside dvaita dvaita outside at the body level each should perform their own duty so we cannot take so i cannot uh, take what the doctor's injection and what that ask a patient to put this injection i will go to some other place that patient also will go to some other place that is not possible so doctor means a doctor engineer means the engineer so we have to perform outside according to our own what that vasana our own what that uh, varnashram dharma so outside only we have to bring this outside in the vyavaharika world dvaita is the advaita is impossible we have to understand right why vyavahara has got nama roopa desha kala dik everything so we have to deal with the dvaita world and keeping this advaita inside this is very very practical point how to practice advaitic thought in our day to day life i think you understood this how to bring the advaita thought in day to day life bhava advaitam sada kuriyat kriya advaitam na karichete so we have to see all the pearls outside pearls the difference with the, the, the chain the mala the pearl mala you see different uh, the sizes of the pearls different colors of the pearls will be there inside the pearl we see only the thread which is holding the whole mala pearl mala so with this understanding when we bring this advaita we will be very very successful outside and we we grow inside very gradually this is very successful thought a very powerful thought of advaita how to bring into our day to day life i think that i conveyed this idea you also understood i know just if if you don't understand just reflect upon that then you will get it so we will go to next point the technique to get free from stress <laughs> when we study this advaita thought i tell you we 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 will never go to a doctor to get over that free from stress stress will not be there strain will not be there and uh, worries will not be there there are so many techniques the person who studied advaita how to get out of stress it's very very clear when you when you study this kind of advaita thought no need to take any medicine no need to take any medicine to get out of stress because thought is very very powerful it will take us very very freely very what is frequently from this stress we will never get into stress okay what are the techniques to get out of stress now bhagavan adi shankaracharya has written the what is that the introduction for brahma sutra brahma sutra what is that uttara mimamsa very uh, bhagavan uh, under the ned vyasa contribution 555 what the sutras according to advaita advaitin 555 sutras so bhagavan adi shankaracharya commented on this brahma sutra sharirika mimamsa other name so, so many names for brahma sutra 
Bhagavan Adishankar is writing commentary for this Brahma Sutra. This comment to the introduction. The introduction for this Brahma Sutra is called Adhyasa Bhashya. Very, very, very powerful Bhashya and very interesting also. Those who studied Adhyasa Bhashya, they know how to deal with their own life problem also. So he brings the thoughts or arguments step by step in this Adhyasa Bhashya. When you, when you study this, we can we, we learn. I suggest that every leader or every CEO of the company should go through this Adhyasa Bhashya. I don't worry about the content. How he takes this argument, how, how he twists the argument, and very systematically he takes towards the subject. So, uh, practically speaking, and the Adhyasa Bhashya is none other than or nothing but how to deal the problem, how to analyze the problem is called Adhyasa Bhashya. That is a, that's what I understood. How to analyze the critical problem in our life is called Adhyasa Bhashya. In this Adhyasa Bhashya, so many points to Bhagavan Adhyasankaracharya brings. One very, very nice point, the last part of Adhyasa Bhashya, Adhyasa Bhashya you can call it theory of superimposition. Theory of superimposition. The last part of Adhyasa Bhashya, he brings this, this point. Atmani Varnashrama Mayo Avastadi and when we live in this world, we superimpose so many things on us. What kind of superimposition we have? Actually, Advaita says that you are not body, you are not mind, you are not what that sense organs, you are not buddhi, you are not knowledge, you are beyond all those things, you are that Brahman, that thou art Tattva Masi, the powerful message of Upanishad, Chantokya Upanishad. But we superimpose so many things on us. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says in Adhyasa Bhashya, Varna, Ashrama, Vaya, Avastha, Varna. All is Brahmacharya, Gragastha, Vanaprastha, Sanyasa, so many Varanas. Who are you? I am Brahmachari. Who are you? I am married to person. Who are you? I am one person. I'm going to one of uh, going to forest, but I don't know how to uh, what that manage in the forest with all my coffee. If and everything. So I consider my own house as far as I'm going to live in my own house as far as the life. Manaprasta, sannyasa, renunciation, the life or renunciation. So I am Brahmachari or Gragasta, Vanaprasta or Sanyasa. Varana. Uh, ashrama. Varana means what? Brahmana, Kshatriya, Shudra, Vaishya. All this Varana Dharma and Ashrama Dharma. So we are superimposing that I am Brahmachari or I am Brahmana, I am Kshatriya, I am businessman, the Vaishya, I am Shudra, I don't have any intellect, just I will do only for the physical world. Or I am a married person, I am family man. How can I deal this problem? These are all what the superimposition on us. Vayaha. And I am in this world, I am 40 year world, 50 year world, I am 70 year world. So we are superimposing this age also. Avastha I am into what that. Kaumara, uh, Yavana, what is that? Um, old age. Kaumara, Yavana, Jara Avastha. All this Avastha, Nisesha Adhyasam Asimiti. See, we are not only superimposing that I am man or a woman, we are superimposing so many layers on us, then we suffer like anything. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya brings all the lists, there are so many lists, there are varieties of lists. So, how many layers? Of superimposition, we have. Bhagya Dharma Atmani Adhyasati. Just I edited, just a small edition, I brought it. Bhagya Dharma Atmani Adhyasati. When our, when our children are not or that happy, we are not happy. When they are happy, we are happy. So Bhagya Dharma, the outside Dharma, we are superimposing on us. If my boss is happy, I am happy. If boss is not happy, I am happy. In some other way, my boss is not happy, I am happy. <laughs> the reverse direction also we superimpose. My boss is happy. I'm not happy. Superimposition. Different type of superimposition. When I, I consider I am tall, I am very short, I am black, I am white. All this Deha Dharma. Deha Dharma, Atmani Adhyasiddhi. We superimpose on ourselves. Indriya Dharma. All of our, what that, I am not able to see. I am not able to hear. I am not able to smell. I am not able to uh, taste. All the Indriya Dharmas also we superimpose on us. We feel very bad. And all the Antakarana Dharma, my intellectual ability, 
and mind capacity. I don't have this kind of peace of mind, superimposition. I don't understand the concept of Advaita, <laughs> superimposition. And Aham Pratyayam Atmani Adhyasati. So superimposing ego also, all the layers of superimposition. These superimpose all the layers on our original, or the, the Atma, and we suffer like anything. We suffer like anything. Whenever somebody, what that, something happens to my family members, I suffer, Bahi Dharma. When somebody comments on my, what that, physical structure, I suffer. When somebody comments on, what that, on my Indriyas, what the sense organs, I suffer. When somebody comments on my intellectual ability, Always your ideas are very ordinary ideas. You never give very nice idea. When somebody comes like this, I feel very bad. See, we are completely affected by this kind of layers. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says in this word, the uh, superimposition theory, Sir, you are not what a Bhagya, you are not Deha, Indriya, Antakara, you are not. So you are beyond all those things. You have to remove this layer. Now see, when you remove this kind of layers, Bahi Dharma, Indriya Dharma, Deha Dharma, all those things, when we understand Aham Brahma, we become realized soul. Sayo Havaitat Brahmam, Paramam Brahma Veda, Brahmaiva Bhavati. One who knows this Brahman, the Brahma Veda, Brahmaiva Bhavati. So that is the final destination. Sir, I am not talking about final destination. This is very, very difficult at time. Bahu Ram Janmana Vante, Jnana Vaan Maam Prapatyade, Bhagavan Krishna says, we have to go through so many janmas to get refinement and to get liberation. While I am living in this world, what kind of solace or the, or the peace of mind Advaita thoughts gives? Advaita gives us, just to tell you. I tell you, if you go through this for that Abhyasa Bhashya, you know how to come out of your inferiority complex, superiority complex, and tension and or stress, all kinds of this mental problem, very, very easy to come out of this things. All the mental problems we can, we know how to deal with. Why? Whenever somebody comments on my body, I know, that I know how to deal it. One day I got birth, one day I'm going to die. In between, I'm going to live in this body. Somebody is commenting on my body. So you very easily can come out. Advaita is very, very practical. When somebody comments on my other idea, sir, your ideas are not good idea. Okay, that is my intellectual problem. So I am beyond intellect. So whatever, whenever we get problem, somebody insults, the public somebody insults, you can take insult very easily. Why? Everything is mithya. Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya. The intellectual understanding of this Advaita thought itself gives peace of mind to the extent. I tell you, you enjoy this Advaitic life. When you study the Advaita, you know how to deal all the problem. Even if you do not know deal the problem, you can deal the problem that I don't know how to deal the problem in Vyavaharika world. Just you come out of stress. This is the beauty of Advaita and practical, what is that? Uh, thought of Advaita. So nobody can, even if you get very powerful disease in your body, you say that one day I am going to shed this body, one day I am going to drop this body. Anyway, according to my Pararabdha, I got this. Maybe 10 years or 15 years, <coughs> I'm able to live with this body. But I'm beyond this. My nature is beyond this. With this kind of powerful Advaitic thought, we can deal any psychological problem, any physical problem, any what that, money problem, any social problem, any problem we can deal with Advaitic thought. This is the powerful practical thought when we go through this Advaita. This is point number two. How to deal the problems, how to deal with the stress. Now slowly we are going to point number three. Accommodating every system. When we, when we study this word that Advaita, we know how to accommodate every what the system in the, what the, in the philosophy. Because we, as, when you study Bhagavad Advaita, so you come across so many philosophies. Generally what you see that when I study some philosophy, I'm attached with that philosophy. Suppose I'm an engineer, so nobody, I will not allow anybody to put engineering department down. I, I always keep engineering departments very high. Suppose I'm a medicine person, I put always medicine is top. Economical person, always economic is top. 
it is not like that so it is not we will not say there is what that advaita is the best other thing is not the best no so once if you study the advaita the glory of advaita come in every system advaita alone comprises comprises entire aspects of vedas it is not rejecting any part of vedas now see advaita karma but the uh, nishprapancha bhakti jnana yoga dharma niyama and vaishnavam shaivam and uh, devi upasana also and what that saprapancha all the any concepts of vedic uh, or that veda it accepts advaita never rejects anything this is the beauty of advaita advaita includes everything everything no dvesha no rag even if you bring us a few more points advaita accommodates this is this accommodating or that the concept the attitude is very very brilliant very very brilliant the idea of uh, very very brilliant the idea of or that the advaita once if i got that study the advaita i know how to accommodate how i know how to accommodate. i learn this large heartedness to accommodate any people any kind of system in my life this is very very practical idea of advaita our our swami vivekananda the powerful uh, the monk you can say the, the monk among or the, the lion among monks very very powerful person 19th century he went uh, to the western world and conquered the whole world because of the advaita he took advaita in his hand and he had to spread this advaitic idea all over the world and very very powerful three thoughts three very what do you call the innovative thoughts of swami vivekananda the first innovative thought is bringing east and west thought number one thought number two serve the man to serve the lord so this is the innovative idea of swami vivekananda and third thought of swami vivekananda the universal religion this is the universal religion the concept of universal religion is the innovative thought of swami vivekananda east and west serve the man to serve the god on universal religion the universal religion what he means he means is universal religion is advaita thought only you may be christian you may be muslim or you may be buddhist so whichever the path you follow just you have your own tradition your own rituals just keep this universal religion advaita as your foundation keep the advaita as your foundation and you bring your ritual and just you move you will attain the same truth the universal religion this advaita thought only became the foundation thought or the root thought or the core thought for swami vivekananda to bring the concept of universal religion you see the the magnificent the word that uh, the, the powerful advaita thought you know swami vivekananda got this kind of idea from advaita why because he wants to accommodate everyone there is no reservation for any people everyone can come inside so when we study advaita when we have advaita we can accommodate not only the philosophy we can accommodate our own people in our own family but we people should have they will I suppose we don't accommodate people in our own family they will say that you accommodate all the philosophies you are not accommodating but that we in your life the accommodativeness will come even though the people are having so much of faults and defects still take them as it is we will take that so we like someone because we love someone in spite of swami chinmayan ji says that we like someone because we see some reason that's why we like we love someone because even if you have some what that shortcomings you have some problem we love so when we love the when we love even though we see some fault we will not see the fault we will take those people with us taking the people with us taking the system with us is a powerful thought or outcome of advaita philosophy this is we have to be very very proud that we are in advaitic tradition advaitic
Uh, Hari Om. Uh, it seems uh, there are some connection issues that we are facing and uh, Swamiji's screen is frozen. So we'll just give it a moment uh, until he's back and hopefully he should be back soon. Sorry about that. Uh, Swamiji is just back right now. Yeah. No problem, Swamiji. Is it okay? Can I continue? Yeah. Uh, yes, Swamiji, please. Thank you. So, universal religion accommodating all the system and all the people comes because of this Advaita. Uh, I think this is uh, point number three, I covered. Point number four, always accepting the right views of others. Accommodating everyone is what so you have love in your heart because of the Advaita. You understood that every living being has got uh, uh, God's presence and we love every Jiva. Therefore, we accommodate even though they have fault. Even if they have fault, just you accommodate because of your love. Uh, so you derive this kind of universal love because of the universal vision of Advaita. Very, very powerful thought. This is point number three. And point number four, accepting the right views of others. So when, when I see some view, I accept, I take that view in my life. So accepting all the, what that Vaishnava, the Shaiva, that's a different. And accepting and appreciating that view particularly. When Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya, he just what that takes and appreciates the view of what that Sankhya, Bhagavad Gita, so Bhagavad Gita 18th chapter, 19th sloka, Jnanam karmacha kartacha tridaiva guna bedataha, Uttate guna sakya rakyatava churangi. Knowledge, action, the actor are declared in the science of Buddhas. The Sankhya Yoga is declared. Jnanam karma karma kartacha. So we have three kinds of soli according to the distinction of temperaments also duly. Hey, Arjuna, just you listen to me. In Sankhi Yoga, uh, karma, jnana, the karta is explained according to the guna In Bhagavan Adi Shankarachara writes commentary for this particular sloka in Bhagavad Gita. He says, guna sankhya ane. Guna sankhya means kapile sastre. Bhagavan Kapila Muni Sastra, kapile sastre tadapti. Guna sankhya na shastram. Guna bhoktur vishaye pramana meva. Bhagavan Adi Shankarachara says that. Guna Bhoktri Vishaye, the Kapila Sastra is for the Sankhya Sastra is Pramana Deva. So I'm not rejecting this uh, other uh, other's view. I take that view also as Pramana. This is the glory of Advaita. When we come down to our day-to-day -day life, I am not what's opposing any person. I take their views also into my system. Bhagavan Adi Shankara says, that's why we say that for that uh, and Bhagavan Karunalayam. Very, very wonderful. great people. They accommodate everything. The author, what the philosophy also, this is the glory, and they take it. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya says that Guna Bhokta Vishaye Pramana Meva. What is that? Sankhi Sastra is Pramana. Paravarta Brahmaikatva Vishaye Yetyavi Vidhu. Sankhi completely different from Advaita. At the end, at the end, Advaita is completely different from Sankhya Sastra. The goal, even though Sankhya is different from Advaita, I'm not what is that. Uh, uh, in this world, the Sankhya, they are uh, equal to our, uh, that, coming to our my thought. So I can appreciate the Guna Sankhya Vishaya, but I cannot take the that nation as the word. Even though they are different from the final destination on the way for the doing the path, they are going to very practical and Pramanam. I can consider that Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya Puna Puna Vishya Sattva Rajas Tamas, even though Virudhyani. 
there is a difference between the uh, Sankhya Sastra and this very nice word, the glory of Advaita. One more thing, so the six of uh, the Shri Pramana, six means of Pali. This six means of the Bhatta Mimamsa start. This is the original thought of Bhatta Mimamsa. Bhagavan Adi Shankara. Uh, this is okay? Thank you. It's uh, much better. So, okay. so the Pramana is Shat. Shat Pramana of Bhatta Mimamsa he takes from other the philosophy. Protection, Anumana, Uvamana, Agama, Arthapati, Anupalabdi, we are very familiar. The point is, even though I have the difference of opinion with other uh, philosophies, uh, the Advaita philosophy, the Advaita philosophy that takes the others for that, the point also. This is point number four. And always, there will not be any aversion, taking the concept of uh, other philosophy. And we never have any aversion with uh, other philosophy, no aversion towards the opponents. This is point number five. Well, Bhagavan and the Adi Shankaracharya, other Acharyas of Advaita, they discuss, they refute the other's view and then they, they refute the other's view based on the, or that issues, not based on the person. This is very powerful thought. When we study Advaita, we will discuss with the people, even the meeting also, whether it is committee meeting or trust meeting or with our, our own people, when we sit with them, when we discuss, we will take the issues and we'll refute. We will not what that create aversion with the people. What is happening generally when I don't like the idea, I don't like that person also. This is what happening in our league. We, we, we say that, we usually say, I don't like your idea. I don't like your idea along with you. I don't like you also. We not only reject the ideas, we reject the people and we create this kind of aversion, bitterness in our life. We lose our happiness. Day-to-day -day application of Advaita, Advaita teaches us, Bhagavan Adi Shankara Acharya teaches, he takes the issue of the opposite of the philosophy and he brings logical conclusion based on uh, that uh, Purva Paksha and Siddhanta. Whatever the opposite person gives the thought, he brings that as a Purva Paksha. Your thought, I take as Purva Paksha. I bring my argument as a Siddhanta. He brings a Siddhanta. He establishes his thought through Siddhanta. When he brings the thought of Purva Paksha and Siddhanta, so you study the commentary of Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya. He never brings any aversion towards any Acharya. And he gives powerful respect to all the Acharyas. He gives us Bhagavan. He uses the Bhagavan, Acharya, he uses this word, Acharya, Bhagavan. And uh, he gives this, uh, the, he never uh, create any aversion or what that, reject the person. You just respect the person, respect the teacher. And I take your uh, thoughts and I refute with the due respect. This is the glory of Advaita. So when you practice Advaita in our day-to-day -day life, we will accommodate all the people, find about it. We will take others, opposite idea, opposite person's idea also will appreciate and include in our what that system. And one more thing, we never create any aversion towards anyone. Even though we have difference of opinion. I tell you one thing, when we study Advaita, we, even though we have the difference of opinion with our own family members in the family, suppose the father is having difference of opinion with the mother. Not suppose, almost 90 percentage is like that only. All the families. Mother is having difference of opinion with the father. The children are having difference of opinion with the parents. Parents are having difference of opinion with the, or the children. So if you are a Vadvaitin, I tell you that you never hate the people. You just refute their ideas. This is the powerful or the application or the powerful thought which can be applied in our day-to-day -day life. These are all the glories and application of Advaita in our day-to-day -day life. I think with this, I conclude. Now my time is up now, 7.30. Thank you very much for what that uh, listening patient, patiently. And I thank the organization Advaita Academy. They have taken this very uh, the great uh, Advaita thought and spread this Advaita thought all over the world, appreciating you, the organization, the members, the team members. And may Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya bless you.
Bhagwan Vedavya sir bless you to take this uh, work forward for the next generation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sanjeev.